Morning news today. A very good morning to you. Now, an aquaponics facility aimed at bringing nutrition, education, and active play to the community has been launched in Soweto. The facility was opened by the MMC for Health and Social Development yesterday. Aquaponics combines fish farming with hydroponics, which is the growing of plants in enriched water rather than soil. Well, Kumbutsa Manyanga is adapt uh, adaptive agricultural program manager at Inmed South Africa. He joins us uh, this morning to tell us more about this. Kumbutsa, good morning. It's quite a title there. <laughs> yeah, morning to you. And thanks for your time. Aquaponics, you. firstly, let's explain yes. to people at home what aquaponics is. Yeah, when we talk about aquaponics, and then we're talking about two farming entities, yeah. and then that are joined together to make one. So it's the combination of aquaculture, which is fish production, and hydroponic, which is producing mm -hmm. vegetables without using soil. So when you combine the two, they make aquaponics. Okay, so this was launched yesterday, yes. and this facility is in Orlando West on land donated by the city of Johannesburg. So who's involved? Who from the community gets to do this, gets to be involved? Yeah, first of all, and then I'll say that, and then we, we are in partnership with, with uh, Mondelez, yes. and then who are the fans of this project. We are running a project together called Health in Action, mm -hmm. where we're supporting and then a number of schools, and then in PE, and then in the, in the Johannesburg area as well. So and the total number of schools that we are supporting is 106, and then between the two cities. And then we have two, f two aquaponic facilities that we have also built, one in PE and then one in the Johannesburg. So in the city of Joburg, and then we are also working with the city of Joburg, and then because they have donated a piece of land where we built the facility, where we launched, this, where we launched yesterday. Mm -hmm. So is this up and running now, as of yesterday? It is up and running, yes. So what happens? How is it done? Tell us. What actually happens on the ground? Obviously, first of all, and then it needs to be built, and then because, and then we just got and then a piece of land that was empty, and then it was just a dumping area, and then that the city just gave to us, and mm -hmm. we just developed that area into an aquaponic center, and then together with a traditional garden, and then and then uh, <coughs> the, the one good thing about it is just and then the people of Kumi, uh, the people of Soweto, and then are going to benefit a lot, and then from this facility because and then they're just going to get a training, and then they're also going to be knowing on how to adapt to climate change, mm -hmm. because and then the most important thing of the system is how to teach people, especially people from the rural area and the urban township, how to adapt to climate change, how to still produce food, and then in this climate change condition that you're living in. So this fish. That will, that, that, that will be farmed here, will be fish that will be edible, it will be for consumption. Yes, and then the feed that we're using at the moment is tilapia. Tilapia is a well-known and then common fish, yeah. and then that everybody knows. And then it is a feed that people can eat, and then we will be producing fish and vegetables. But at least, and then the number of schools and then within that area are going to benefit from the vegetables that we're going to be producing, because you must remember that most of the schools in that community, they depend on the feeding scheme yeah. to feed their children. So uh, this facility is going to be of great help because and then they're going to be getting some of the supplements from the facility. So the children, the school children will be involved in the farming of fish and the hydroponics, the, the vegetables as well. And the end game will be, like you say, to be able to feed schools and feed the community. That is one mm -hmm. of the most important reasons why we build these two facilities down in PE and then the one here in the Johannesburg. So that and then we can also and then help and then to supplement and then the feeding scheme at the schools. And then there is, and then next to the facility there is also a local clinic there where there are n quite a number of people that comes and then who d d don't even have access to feed mm -hmm. and then to food and then they come there and then looking for medical attention and uh, we also going to be donating some of the produce and then to those and then patients so that before they can take their, medic uh, their medication they must have something to eat. Yeah. So yeah. how long uh, Kumbutsu then until you see mm. your first sort of batch of fish coming through or that, that, that people will be able to eat from you? How long does it take? Do you have any idea? Yeah and then fish and then take a little bit longer yeah. and then but I always tell people that and then don't concentrate on the fish more. Yeah. Concentrate more on the vegetables because yes. that is where you get a lot of produce and then you get a lot of produce and then and you harvest and then quite early and then that what you would and then normally in the traditional way of farming yes and then fish can take and then something from eight and then to a year and then mm -hmm. to grow to a plate size mm -hmm. when we talk about the plant size and then it's about and then 350 gram and then where people can start harvesting and eat but and then while waiting for the fish and then people can start harvesting vegetables and then of course and once you planted within six weeks and then you can start harvesting so what's been the community interest do they do they want to be involved i mean you just launched this yesterday but surely you know they, they've seen what's been going on the community is so curious. excited yeah. you know and then even and then when we start the project, when we start the building, and then the facility itself, and then was built by the community members. Because when we went to the community, we asked, and then the councillor to help us find people can who can train, who they can come and help, and then building the system. So they have been 
involved and then from the uh, from the beginning. So you've and created some jobs along the way. Exactly, and there are a number of jobs that have been created, and then we're still going to be working with the community because they're still going to be getting a lot of training within the facility, mm. and then because we want to take the skills and then the expertise that we have, and then impart to the community so that they can go even to their own homes and then start and then doing this and then in a small so scale. So there's scope to expand and, and, and build more facilities. Exactly. Is that on the cards? Uh, we. We hope so, yeah. and then and then obviously it's all dependent on whether we get and then more partners coming together, but and then our aim and then is to build as many as we can. That's wonderful. I mean, what yes. a novel idea! It makes you think. Why didn't anyone think of this earlier? <laughs> Thanks very much, and, and good luck. Uh, Thank you so much with the project. We'd like to see how how it actually uh, goes in a, in a couple of months. That's uh, Kumbutso Manyanga. He's from Inmed, South Africa, one of the partners in this wonderful project.